Hi, welcome. You're here at the Arbor Gate in Tomball, Texas. I'm Beverly Welch and this is Angela Chandler. We're going to teach you a great project today on how to espalier a citrus tree. So Angela, why do we choose? Well, we have a kumquat here and kumquats are a very good selection because they have small fruit that's beautiful in all of its stages. Um, when this is when this tree is matured and is carrying a full load of fruit, which will happen several times a year, it will just look like it's decorated with little orange Christmas tree decorations it, to a certain extent. So it'll be lovely. Perfect. Now we've planted this one in the ground and of course use lots of Arbor Gate blend, but this can be done in a container as well. It can be done in a container and uh, it can be done um, along a driveway if you have a spot where you, where you really want to include fruit trees but there's not too much space. This is basically gardening in two dimensions, 2D. So it can be very flexible use in your garden. So now what do we do? Well what we're going to do now is we're going to look for the branches where they're naturally traveling <clears throat> where we can actually do quite some shaping with this tree but it's best if we work with what we have from nature. So we're going to look here, we have a branch that leans off to this side, and look, a little fruit right there, ready to go. And we're going to look for a location where it can be tied off relatively naturally so that we don't stress it too much as it gets started. Then we're going to look for the crown of the tree and we'll do the same thing on the other side so that we can shape this in a nice fan so that it will eventually cover this entire trellis. Okay, so let's go, I think on your side is best, Okay. I'm step over here where I can get to it. What we're using is a stretchy tape, tie tape, that's specifically designed for this purpose. And I've got it in the wind and unraveling on me, and that's okay. And this tape has a very good give to it, which is gonna keep us from being too terribly tied around the branch. And even then, we wanna make sure that we check this at least twice a year. Okay. And if any of it looks like it's getting too tight around our branch, where we might girdle it, meaning that we would cut off the, the flow, flow okay. and, and basically strangle our little tree. So we don't want to do that. And I'm looking for where I can where I can tie this off on this trellis. And normally I tie it to the trellis first and then around the branch. And the reason I do this is that if you tie it around the trellis first, you don't have to tie as tightly around the branch and yet it will keep it from moving. The, the tighter portion around the, the trellis will keep it from moving on me. Now, this other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna think about in the future, we want to direct the growth of this so that it stays within the, the range of our trellis. And when we do that, we're always going to look for a growing point on our branches. So let me come to this one. In this case, I have two growing points and I might want to, do, to make sure that this one that's growing forward, I might tie this one to the back. So I'm gonna remove this one and get it out of my way. Then I'm gonna to come to this one and we're a little crowded in here as well. So I'm gonna step back and look. This particular one is growing to the back. So I do want to remove that one because I want all of the growth to fan out across the face of the trellis. So I'm gonna slip down here and make what we call a thinning cut, meaning that I'm gonna cut it all the way back to its source point right. of origin on the branch. I'm gonna remove that one. So now we have all of our branches where they can be tied in a fan around the tree. So we'd like to tie another one. You can tie that one right there. So okay, we'll tie so I'm gonna it tie to, the, to trellis the trellis first, first and that'll be a tight tie a tight to tie. hold our tie tape in place. And, and then, then we can tie, tie it more loosely tree. around the tree. So maintenance is very minimal on this. Maintenance we just is need very to watch, minimal. watch for the girdling, yes. make sure our ties stay loose, right. and then we will train or remove any growth that's not going where that's we want correct. it. That's correct. So you'll watch for anything that's directed to the back and you'll make a thinning cut all the way back to the source of the, of the branch. And then you'll, you'll look for things that can be trained so that it will eventually fill out this entire trellis and it will be absolutely gorgeous in bloom highly fragrant in your garden, a real gift to our pollinators, and then we'll have all the lovely fruit. And think of how easy it will be to, to find your fruit when it's ready to pick. Good point. So we planted this here at the Arbor Gate. They can come and watch and monitor sure its progress. Sure they can check out the website for more detailed instructions. This is gonna be great fun, Angela. Thank you so much. You bet, Beverly. It was a pleasure to be here.